So communities are the best way to foster relationships between you and your students. It's built around social media posts, so it's a pretty familiar concept for everyone. So let's start by creating a new community. So I'm on admin, so I'm on the admin page, and then I've clicked on community here. And then I'm going to click create a new community. So I'm going to upload a new icon, and that'll be similar to what we've got here with the Zenla logo. So if I just pick, uh, if we go onto my desktop and my folder, um, we'll pick this bread icon here. And then I'm just going to crop it so you can get a nice overview there. There we go, and that's uploaded the icon. And then I will pick a cover photo. So I've made something pretty similar to that with the logo and then the title of the community. This time I'm going for bread making with Jamie. So let's just do that. I want this something similar to my uh, course. So I'm going to name my community bread making with Jamie. And let's, and your community description should be something pretty and then my community description should be a couple of sentences just about what my community is about. So I'm going to say something like. Uh, I'm going to make a community for just one course. Pick getting started with Zenla just because it's a quick one to pick. Um, but overall, you should pick one that's more relevant to what you want. So I'm just going to click add. And then once I've done that, I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to press publish to commu publish community. And now it's public, so I'm going to click go to it. And here we go. So you've got the basic thing. So there's the logo. There's your there's the header image that I picked. And I'm going to and here's my description. And so I'm just going to post a quick picture with let's say here's some bread I've made. There we go. Put a nice emoji in there as well. You can also use this emoji box here. And then other people on your course can always leave a comment as well. So I'll post some spiel. And then other people can also reply to those comments. So let's just post a bit of sourdough that I've made. And we'll put... And then they can just reply in line to that. And there we go, there's your comments, or uh, other people in the community can just make posts as well. And that's how communities work on Zenla.